Question number nine, Kevin Haig. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. My, my question is to the Associate Minister of Health and asks, what steps will he be taking to ensure New Zealand drug laws are still fit for purpose, given the recent findings by Johns Hopkins University and the British medical journal The Lancet that the punitive approach to drug offending has done more harm than good? Mr Speaker. Uh, the Honourable Peter Dunn. Mr Speaker, in August last year, as the member I think will be aware, I published a new national drug policy. This contains 28 wide-ranging actions over the period from 2015 to 2020, uh, which take a compassionate, proportionate and innovative approach to addressing drug harm. I believe that this policy, uh, like the attitudes being expressed in a number of countries around the world, uh, reflect the view that the harm from illicit drug use is best dressed, addressed primarily through a health lens. But this does not mean there is not still a role for law enforcement but it should not be the primary approach, and the government's actions contained in the national drug policy reflect that position. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Kevin Haig. Does the minister agree that the primary goal of drug policy should be the reduction of health-related harm, and that the regulatory response to particular drugs should be proportional to their risk of such harm? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Peter Dunn. Mr. Speaker, yes, I do. In fact, when I spoke to the UN Commission on Narcotic Drugs in Vienna last year, I stated in the New Zealand National Statement that the central pillars of a drug policy should be about proportion, innovation and compassion. And I believe we are generally achieving those goals in New Zealand, but obviously there's more to do, and I look forward to reviewing the national drug policy at its midpoint uh, sometime next year. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Kevin Haig. What prospects for change does the Minister envisage at the upcoming United Nations General Assembly special session on the world's drug problem in New York? Mr Speaker, the Honourable Peter Mr. Speaker having attended the UN convention meetings for a number of years now, it has been noticeable that there has been a perceptible shift in international attitudes from what one could describe five or six years ago as essentially a legalistic punitive approach to a much greater emphasis on public health issues being the driving force today. I also want to make one other point that New Zealand has raised strongly over the years, and that is the use of the death penalty, particularly for drug offences, and I hope that one of the outcomes of the New York meeting will be a very strong call for its abolition. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Kevin Haig. Is the Minister open to a cross-party working party of MPs from across the House to form to discuss moving drug law reform forward. Mr. The Honourable Peter. Mr. Speaker, Dunn. yes, I am. I'm certainly open to working with colleagues who have a range of views on the subject, and I particularly want to thank the member for the interest that he's shown and the approach that he's taken over a considerable period of time. I appreciate that.